Warning. You are being attacked by an autonomous drone. How many? Warning. We don't know. We're still figuring that out. Warning. You are running out of time. Listen closely. We will show you what to do to increase your chances for survival for as long as we reasonably can. Don't worry, yet. That's just the surveillance drone. It goes ahead and scouts an area to locate targets and assess defenses. It's technically harmless, but what follows it isn't, and it's closing in on your location. Get to cover immediately. Good thing that door was strong enough. You bought yourself time. I will take this chance to explain. Listen carefully. What you just encountered was a pair of modified FPV drones. FPV or first person view drones are cheap, lightweight and extremely fast. Reaching speeds of up to 140 kilometers an hour, they are agile enough to strike a variety of targets, including static targets and moving vehicles. The motors give off a characteristic screech that sounds like this. Typically piloted by drone operators using VR goggles, they hunt and respond based on a real-time video feed. FPV drones are often deployed in a hunter-killer pair. Like a sniper team, one drone is responsible for surveillance, the other for pulling the trigger. Surviving that first strike is commendable. Good job. But your hiding spot is compromised. Other drones are incoming. You must move to a safe spot. Now. Your only chance is getting to the nearest city, somewhere that has a military presence. Jammers, anti-aircraft guns, missiles, bunkers. But you need to survive long enough to get there. Grab some gear, whatever you have on hand. Ski goggles, a helmet, and a thick leather jacket to shield you from debris or shrapnel from drone impacts. A small powder-based fire extinguisher can at least cover sensors or create a smoke screen. Done? Go. Get into a vehicle and drive as fast as possible. Wait, is that a chicken coop? Good. Destroy it and place it on top of that car. If you can't stay concealed, staying protected is the next best thing. Get in. Damn, that was quick. The drones above you are trailing a thin strand up to 30 kilometers worth of fiber optic line. They must know that you are heading for the city. These drones don't rely on radio signals. They are hardwired to the operator, impossible to jam. But they're louder, slower, and the wire can get tangled. Head for the forest. That's one. And that's two. Ouch. Are you alive? Good. You added a layer of protection that one drone could not get through. The car and chicken coop cover have bought you some time, for now. Warning, more drones are coming. The closer you get to the city, the more sophisticated the systems will be. They are optimized to avoid human error. Drive as fast and far as you can. We'll take this time to explain. In 2013, MIT engineering students launched the Perdix system. A small, low-cost UAV that can be deployed in large numbers. They launched 103 Perdix drones from three FA-18 Super Hornets. The drones operate with a distributed brain, allowing them to change conditions without centralized control. The Perdix drones share data, have no single leader, and reconfigure when drones are added or removed. By 2015, the Office of Naval Research revealed a low-cost UAV swarming technology, also known as Locust, a tube-based launcher for releasing small, unmanned autonomous vehicles in rapid succession. The Locust program was the precursor for drone swarms. In theory, hundreds of small autonomous UAVs could cost less than a single tactical aircraft, 
while also being more effective and robust. Unmanned systems were force multipliers. One agent could, in theory, control significantly more assets in battle space. A swarm could also coordinate. They operate most commonly in waves. The surveillance wave gathers information across large areas. This involves mapping the environment, identifying and location potential targets, detecting enemy defense, and providing persistent information for commanders. To do this, the surveillance wave uses coordinated search patterns. These include, but are not limited to, random walks, creeping lines, expanding squares, grid-based, and two-step search and survey. By flying at layered altitudes, they ensure coverage in both vertical and horizontal space. For persistent surveillance, they may loiter in the surrounding perimeters with drones cycling in and out in pulses. Once surveillance is gathered, the second wave starts. The key objective of this wave is to destroy and suppress the enemy's defense. Once defenses are overwhelmed, the last wave begins, the strike wave. Warning. Speed up. You're so close. That looks painful. Can you run? You're almost there. Wow, I really thought you were a goner. There must be a jammer close by. They emit a powerful radio frequency signal that severs critical inter-drone communication links. Overwhelming their GPS navigation across a wide area. Some advanced systems even use high-power microwaves to disrupt the electronic systems of multiple drones simultaneously. Time to get to that bunker. Quickly. Do you hear that? That low rumble is the AVIC Zhou Tian. This 10-ton Chinese mothership is designed to carry and deploy drone swarms across vast distances. With a 25-meter wingspan, it operates at altitudes of 15,000 meters, far beyond the range of most air defenses. Its 7,000-kilometer range means it can launch from deep within enemy territory and still reach its target. Each Jiu Tian carries up to 100 smaller drones in internal payload bays. When multiple motherships coordinate, they can cover thousands of square kilometers simultaneously. The sub-drones share information instantly, creating a connected network that adapts to changing conditions. What makes this system particularly effective is scale. Individual countermeasures become irrelevant when facing hundreds of coordinated drones. Standard survival tactics no longer apply. These narrow streets are providing good cover. It's too late to get to the bunker, but you have time to hunker down in one of these buildings. Get in. Quick. Drone swarms can achieve mass destruction through the accumulation of many small-scale attacks. They are a fundamental shift in weapons technology. Modern wars are described as unmanned hellscapes, where an offensive swarm campaign would meet a counter-swarm of drones. At this point, no place is safer than any other. Any door you barricade is a door that can be destroyed. Your survivability depends on one thing. Who is sending the attack? When a human controls a drone, there are inherent limitations. Reaction time averages 200 to 300 milliseconds for complex decisions. Fatigue degrades performance after extended operations. Moral hesitation can delay or prevent engagement. A human pilot might miss a target due to stress or poor visibility, might choose not to fire on ambiguous targets, might make tactical errors under pressure. These human weaknesses can become your survival advantages. You can exploit predictable behavior patterns, confuse operators with decoys or unexpected movements, force them into situations where human judgment becomes a liability. But artificial intelligence operates by different rules. An AI can process visual data in microseconds, they don't experience fatigue, fear, or moral conflict. Executing mission parameters with mathematical precision. If you are designated as a target, it will pursue you with unwavering focus, 